I am very passionate about the idea of women having power in both femininity and beauty and intelligence. I'm absolutely against it. I know what a <laughs> rotten, what a controversial take, right? We tried. And let's let's move on. It didn't work. It didn't work. So what can you on. do? Yes. <laughs> so I actually spearheaded a Playboy feature about this, where myself and five other journalists pose, and we wrote essays, very you know, cool. powerful essays on free expression. What else encapsulates this? But Pam and Tommy, which yes. like. I covered extensively on my show for okay. this very reason. And congratulations on the Emmy noms. Um, but it was so refreshing. And it's what we're talking about, right? Seeing somebody like her, a sex icon, gorgeous, beautiful, feminine, but also resilient, a survivor, strong, not a victim. However, it's like I was saying earlier, I often feel like the narrative is it's one or the other. It's beauty or intelligence. Do you feel that we have to box one or the other away? Um, I do not think sexuality and femininity negates intelligence or strength. I think that they're not mutually exclusive. Um, yes. I remember being very personally connected to the Pam and Tommy story, particularly Pamela. Um, in the sense that I had I had felt what it was like to have the injustice of um, private property um, and image stolen and then broadcasted. Even in the year that I wrote and directed my first film, right? Like, and I'm at Sundance and, and I'm naked on the cover of a magazine. It's like, I got a lot of flack for that. And it's like, okay, well, let's talk about why. Because I, I would agree, gosh, maybe I wouldn't do that necessarily now. I'm like, do I really need to be naked? <laughs> like, go ahead, put some clothes on, you know? But also, why not? Isn't there but, power in that too, where you're like... There okay. is, but it's, I found, and this is how I feel about it, it's totally personal preference. Mm -hmm. It's whether you're comfortable with it and you get to make that choice. So yes. even I get to change my mind. I could say, you know what, at this point in my life, I'm totally fine being on the cover of a magazine naked because I kind of feel it right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm totally comfortable writing and directing and starring in a movie. Yes. Now, in the same breath, if I decide that at this juncture, I don't feel like being on a cover of a magazine mm -hmm. naked, goddamn choice, you know? I'm like, give me some YSL and we'll make it hot. You know what I'm saying? But like, yes. the, my choice. So I agree with you in that they're not mutually exclusive. Sarah, I don't know how you feel about it, if you agree, but I feel like when you unleash both, it is like men's effing kryptonite because they know how powerful we are. Like they are like, oh shit, there is, it is, it is no holds barred out. Like it is game over. And perhaps that is what has played into maybe men, maybe the structures trying to box women in, in certain ways with the skirts, whatever, because they know, like they know we actually, in the end, once it's all unleashed, we run shit. Yeah, we 100 percent. I mean, that's that's the thing that I've internalized sometimes too, because I, my thing is looking smart. Like I just have to look smart. And I've I done that. Like sometimes, yes. like I feel like, oh, I don't want to expose my my body too much because then that'll make me look less smart. Because yes. men have trained me that I can't be both because they know that, like, oh, they see a smart woman. Well. Um, they're not attractive. And if they say attractive woman, well, they're not smart. You have to put her down somehow. So you find a way and it's just not true. But in, at the same time, we've been taught it so much that it's hard to break out of that sometimes. I say here and now we rewrite it and take control of it and do it our way, ladies.